A quick disclaimer, you should know that this tutorial is for a third party asset. That means that it has Playmaker integration, but its functionality and stability is not completely reliant on Playmaker. These tools have bugs of their own, and so you should always first consult with the developer of that tool first. Also, there may be links in the description for fixes. Hello, and welcome to the second part of the Pixel Crushers dialog system tutorial. In this video, we're gonna be learning how to programmatically set certain values within a conversation. So for example, when the player is talking to an NPC, you could dynamically set the player's name. Let's pick up on where we left off last time. So over here in our first simple conversation, we have this little part where the player says, hi, Lloyd. Well, if you come in here and you say, hi, Lloyd, my name is, now this is where you can have it dynamically set what the player has entered their name at some earlier point in the game, whether it was when they first started their game and they created a save file, or if an NPC asked them what their name was earlier so they could type it in, whatever the case, it could reference a string variable that sets their name here in the conversation. So what you do is you enter open bracket var for variable equals, and then the name of your string variable. So let's just call this one my name, and then we'll close bracket. And let's put a period at the end of that. And once you close bracket, that's the variable itself, and you could put whatever you want, comma, nice to meet you, okay? And then you come over to the variables tab in this dialog menu, and you can press this little plus button down here. And we want to add a new text variable. This new text variable, we'll call it the same thing, my, my name, and the initial value it'll have, let's say it's player. Okay, so this is the default value. This is something that basically you don't want to show, but let, this is what it shows by default. Okay, so if we play this, and hit space to start the conversation. Hi, my name is Lloyd. And you can see our option here. Hi, Lloyd, my name is player. Nice to meet you. So, so that's step one, right? We can have a value referencing some other string here in our variables tab. Okay, so I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna show you how we can set it up so it could reference a string variable from within our FSM. Let's start here in the FSM on our conversation starter. We start the conversation here. Now, before we start the conversation though, that's when we want to set the variable. What we could do is put in on our first date, for example, the set variable from dialog system. Okay, so set variable action under the dialog system category. If we drop it in, it asks us to specify a variable name. So you can see up here in our variables tab, we have this, my name that we just created. So I'm gonna copy that text and I'm gonna put it in here. And the string value that we want it to be, we'll create a new variable called the same thing, my name. Okay, now currently it's nothing. But if I come in here and edit it, the value I could put in is Steven. So you can see that it still says player over here on the initial value, but at runtime, this set variable action is gonna change it to this string value. It's cool, so let's play this. Okay, and I hit space to start it. Hi, my name is Lloyd. And you can see that the player now has this option. Hi Lloyd, my name is Steven, nice to meet you. Okay, so that's how you could change some of the values here in the actual conversation. Something I want you to notice is up here, the name Lloyd, right? Lloyd is the name of the actor that we set up, right? So over here in the dialogue tab, we have our actors and Lloyd is the actor. Now you might be hopping around here and trying to figure out how you could change Lloyd's name at runtime. Sometimes when you meet people in a game, their name just starts off as a few question marks. Or you might be building a game that's a little bit more systemic, which allows you to change the name of some of these characters. What you could do to change the name of an actor at runtime, the name that's actually displayed up here, is if I stop this and we select here in the Lloyd slot, over here in Inspector, you can see the other values for him, one of which being the use display name box. Okay, so if I tick that, you could change the display name. Now the display name, I'm gonna keep empty because it doesn't really matter what we put here for now. If you did just wanna hard code it, you could put something else like Boyd or whatever his alternate name is. Maybe the name that you use up here is just for reference, but this is what you actually want to display on screen. So I'll show you really quick what that looks like. I'm just gonna maximize on play. And when we play this, 
His name is Lloyd, but his display name is Boyd. So when I, pray, when I play the conversation, you can see that Boyd is what displays up here in the top left-hand corner. Now, the way you change this at runtime, if I come over to our conversation starter and I come here at our first state, you could do this at any point. And I just want to mention this again, I, I can't make this clear enough, is that these actions where you're setting the values can go in any place under any circumstances, as long as it's before the conversation starts, because the conversation is going to start and then it's going to load up all of those values to display on screen. So if you wanted to, you could put this set variable right when the player sets their name, say way at the beginning of the game, or you could even set it right before at the top of this uh, start conversation action. And the same thing goes with this next action that I'm about to show you, set Lua field. Okay, so Lua is a programming language that's being used inside of the, the dialogue system asset. And so the way you could look at these actions is just setting a field, setting a variable that the dialogue system uses. For our case, we're gonna drag and drop this set Lua field action in here. And it asks you which table you want to set the field from. So we have the actor table, the item table, and the location table. Those are all tables up here. You have the actors, the locations. What we wanna do is set the display name for Lloyd. Okay, so if I come in here and I say the actor table, the field that I want to change is display name. Okay, and it's spelled out just like that. If I come over here, you can see display name. And the element that I want to change is the name of the actor. So we want to change Lloyd's display name. And the string value that we want to set, we can set it to some new value that is something like Bloyd. Okay, the combination of Boyd and Lloyd. Maybe Bloyd has two L's. Bloyd. Okay, so now when I run this, the display name should be Bloyd with two L's. And there you go. That's how you could set the display name of characters at runtime using this set Lua field. Okay, in the next tutorial, we're gonna be going over how to set conditions for your conversations. The conversation can go in many directions depending on things like whether or not a character has collected an item or has done something a certain amount of times or has any number of variables that could set its current conditions. Be sure to check out our other videos to learn all the various features of Playmaker. Links to more learning resources are in the description.